This is called a circle trap. If you are interested in making one for yourself, uh, you can just search uh, spotted lanternfly circle trap. And I got the instructions from the University of Pennsylvania State Extension Service. Basically, and you can see it's already being successful. I've only had this up for about an hour and we've got, you know, five that have made their way in here. Um, the things that I like about it are that we don't get what's referred to as bycatch, you know, um, impacts on other animals or other insects that we don't want to get rid of. So this just uses spotted lanternfly behavior against it. And all it is is some window screening material, the mesh. And I got that for like eight bucks for a roll down at uh, Ace Hardware. Um, I've got some paint sticks for stirring your paint the tops off of some milk cartons and a Ziploc bag and then you know a zip tie and something to affix it to your tree. So if you have a tree that is getting a lot of impacts from spotted lanternfly, maybe you're getting that honeydew or the sooty mold is starting to accumulate and you really want to get rid of it. Um, I think I made this in about half an hour using the University of Pennsylvania Extension instructions and I spent all of you know, well, less than $8. With $8, I could make like three or four of these probably. Uh, and it's, it's super successful. So as the lanternflies crawl up and down the tree trunk, you know, they're, they're not the smartest insect. And so they'll just kind of start making their way up and the screening funnels them up into your milk jug lids and then into a Ziploc baggie or you could use a jar basically anything that you can fit over the top that's going to collect them where they come in. And periodically you just want to come out and check it and, you know, to be humane, the dispatch everyone fairly quickly, don't leave them to suffer, uh, making sure that there's no one in there that you uh, don't want in there, you know, maybe a cool bug climbed in, you can let the cool bug out. But this way it's low impact, it's very inexpensive, you don't have to worry about chemicals, um, Again, you avoid all the impacts from like sticky bands and glue traps.